the trial is still ongoing uh, with regards to Mr. Valk and, and Mr. Al Halifi, so they are innocent until proven guilty. But of course, since FIFA Gate started in 2015, there have been numerous cases of uh, active, passive corruption, unfair dealings, mismanagement, starting with FIFA, which is basically overseeing every football uh, game in the international game in the world. Um, Gianni Infantino is the new president. He's trying to show that FIFA is cleaning up its act in the post Sepp Blatter years, uh, that FIFA has changed since 2016 when the FBI raided uh, a hotel in Switzerland and uh, basically questioned a lot of FIFA executives. But the problem is that uh, right now we see with this current trial that uh, there are still things which are left unclear and that maybe these unfair dealings are continuing today. You've said innocent until proven guilty, and that's something we actually put out loud as a banner right here and now. But let me ask you this question. Do you think it's likely that this case will have any repercussions beyond the individuals concerned? And it won't surprise you, I'm thinking about Nasser al khalifi of Paris Saint-Germain, their stadium just, uh, well, a short goal kick from this studio. Absolutely, yes. Well, there's definitely going to be repercussions. Uh, Gianni Infantino, no, have just attended the historic uh, peace deal which has been brokered by the Trump administration in, in Washington between Israel, the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. And uh, Gianni Infantino has heralded this uh, as a new era also for football, as a force for good, for crossing borders and uh, as FIFA basically as the flagship of this initiative. The problem is that FIFA itself is embroiled in controversy in this trial because FIFA in its uh, attempt to clean up its act, basically uh, complained about Nasser al Halifi's dealings with Mr. Valka uh, seven years ago. Um, but in doing so, FIFA, as a plaintiff, met with the Attorney General of the Federal Criminal Court of Switzerland, and that is forbidden in, in most jurisdictions, which means that basically in trying to clean up its act, FIFA actually added another layer of, of controversy. And now the current FIFA president, Gianni Infantino, is, is, is being indicted for this very action. So he's in hot waters himself. Um, as for Nasser al Halifi, well, he has already been uh, in, in hot waters with regards to, to the attribution of the uh, Athletic World Championships in 2019. He has been uh, ha having problems with UEFA with regards to financial fair play as uh, in his uh, role of, of Paris Saint-Germain chairman. So, of course, um, Whatever comes out of this trial um, is going to be uh, having repercussions, in particular the way that TV rights are uh, attributed by FIFA. This is basically FIFA's main source of income. We're talking about a contract of $480 million uh, for broadcasting the, the FIFA World Cups in 2026 and 2030. And we don't really know uh, where this money goes. And that's the main problem right now. And we need, and I hope that we will see after this trial, more transparency in the way that international football organizations like FIFA deal with uh, TV broadcasters and deal with uh, owners of various other football uh, stakeholders holders.